Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Wilkins. So today's video is gonna be about what an initiation is and how you can move through an initiation gracefully, as easily as possible. So initiations to me are really about this internal journey, this internal experience. And to me, it's just, you can't talk about an initiation without talking about the goddess. And um, the other way that you could put this as it's like, a series of challenges but they're occurring more internally it's like moving you into the depths of yourself that in a way that can't be seen externally and so these are really really deep journeys through your soul journeys into remembering who you truly are so these are going to be in initiated <laughs> activated through oftentimes these are through love or through the things that we cling on to the most. So that could be money, romance, your children, um, security of any kind. Like this is what will really trigger initiations for us. Um, but they say that if you are of certain lineages, um, Hathor, Isis, these different priestess lineages, which I imagine many of you who are watching are because I am, Oftentimes for us, it's going to come from relationships because this is a lineage that's very devoted to love as being a divine awakener. So it'll be different for everybody though, and that's not the only way that we can experience this. But initiations are something that you can never really explain to someone. It's so incredibly deep and you will go in one end of the tunnel and come out a completely different person. So I've had multiple... Um, you'll have many initiations. It's not like you have one and then you're, <laughs> congratulations, you did your initiate. It's like, you're gonna have so many in your life, especially if you're very devoted to becoming your truest self. It's not about like, like being the most powerful self or the person with the most money or the most successful. It's not about that. It's like the journey to, tr to who you truly are, like the removal of masks. So each initiation could really be the removal of one layer of a mask or one layer of many masks. And it it's the reason that I really connect this with the goddess is because this isn't something that it's like, it has to be guided by something higher than you. There's no way that certain things could be activated in the way that they are in initiation. It's like everything connects perfectly and these little dots to circle that circle back. And so it's just like really beautiful if you think about it, but Okay, so how do you move through an initiation with grace? So often we have the invitation for an initiation and we're like, nope, I'm busy. I'm not available for this right now. I already, you know, I have a lot going on at work or like <laughs> initiations are not like, your soul will be real gentle with you. Your soul is like, hey, I think that you should probably leave this job because you hate it and it's sucking your soul out. Hey, I think that your partner is like really not good for you. You should probably leave. And then the soul is like, okay, you don't have to listen. It's fine. And then shit will start to happen so that you have to make a change, so that you have to shift. And an initiation is something that really like, there will be a choice point where you can choose, am I going to stay in this version of myself or am I going to go into this unknown cave where I hear howling in the tunnels, but I feel really drawn to it. I'm not sure why, like my soul's really guiding me there. Or I can stay in this safe, comfortable position that feels, oh, there's a bright green lizard walking across the balcony, um, which that always means to me like regeneration. So basically it's like, do you wanna stay the same version of you? You have an opportunity to grow an immense amount in a short period of time. It's probably gonna be devastating to your ego. You're gonna have like a hundred ego deaths, but the, here's your invitation. And so most, I don't know if I wanna say most people, but a lot of people are gonna be like, no, I'll just stay in my marriage even though I'm not really happy and I'm living this like basic cookie cutter life where every day is the same. But you know, it's good enough, it feels safe. And then the brave ones, AKA you because you're watching this, if you're not, anyways, it's not saying that one person's better than the other, but it's saying that initiations require immense courage and bravery because you have no idea where you're going. 
and you it will, will result in deep ego deaths. You will not come out of it the same that you are. So I hear this from a lot of people and I experience this myself as well. I've had several initiations over the last few years and I can look at pictures and I'm like, I'll look at pictures of myself literally from like eight months ago or especially like two years ago. And I'm like, that is not me. That's a totally different human. <laughs> that's a totally different human. And that's what it will be like because you are so different. You are so different. And it's because the masks have been removed. It's not because your personality changes or you know what you like or dislike changes. It's because you've removed masks that once you see these masks and once you take them off, you cannot put them back on. It's like before they were super glued onto your face, Hi, I'm a good girl and I operate in this way. Hi, I'm successful and I, I really actually hate my life, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm super happy because I'm afraid to admit it to myself. <laughs> once the mask comes back on, it's like once you've taken it off, it shrinks. So it's like it won't even fit on your face anymore. Like you'd have to cultivate a whole new sort of a mask. So <clears throat> initiations are not for the weak. They're not for the they're not for the faint of heart. These are intense inner experiences that will shake you to your core. What else is there to say about initiations? Um, yeah, and as far as moving through it gracefully, just don't don't fight it, right? Some, some initiations, if you choose to not do them, you will be taken through smaller growth opportunities, but they're not gonna be the same. So it's like, if you avoid it, you're, you might not get the chance to go through that same initiation or it'll happen later on in life. So it's just delayed. And then I feel it will get more intense. Um, I was going to say something else too. What did I want to share about this? Oh, so your initiations, my experience is that many times they will be led by a particular goddess. So for me, my very first initiation, actually my very first initiation was led by Lakshmi. Um, the Hindu goddess of abundance, but she's also a goddess of love, of beauty, of grace, of joy. And she came to me first, like, hi, you need to leave your job. You have a bigger purpose and you're not, this is not where your gifts can be used to the highest. If you want to say that's fine, but you're probably never going to feel fulfilled and you'll always feel like something's missing here. If you need me, she was very gentle. Then that was in 20. 14, 2015, I think. Then my next initiation, <clears throat> so that was like five years of growth. Then my next initiation was in 2020 with, with Sekhmet, who Sekhmet is not one that you, she's a, she is a destructor goddess. She's a, a very powerful, very powerful. So she's a woman and has the face of a lion. She's an Egyptian goddess and um, she's fierce. She's ravenous. She came in in 2020 for the collective, but also for me personally. And she just, she's, will just flip everything inside out. So she led that initiation for me. Now, once you realize you're in an initiation, you have to just surrender, let go of control, which this is a lot of times our first initiation or a component of any initiation actually is letting go of control and surrendering. It's like, okay, Show me what I need to see. I'm not going to resist it. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to look at myself with open eyes. I'm not going to be like, I don't see anything. There's no problem here. I'm not toxic. <laughs> so you have to go into it at, with the eyes of a student of like, what is here for me to learn? What is here for me to learn? How can I use this for my highest growth? If you go into it with the mindset of, I don't need to change. Nothing's, you know, I'm perfect the way that I am. And of course we're all, we're whole and complete and perfect as we are. And if a goddess invites you to an initiation, you do not decline the invitation and you are graceful. It's like, if you're walking in, if you go to somebody else's house, you're not going to slam the doors when you're upset, right? Or you're not going to like be a brat in somebody's house. You show up with respect, especially to a goddess. So my point in saying that there may be one particular goddess who is leading your initiation and that's going to set the vibe of the whole thing, right? I've had other initiations with Hathor, which I actually have her picture right here. This is, um, I have an altar to her here in front of my desk because she is a goddess of civilization. So I work with her for my, my soul mission. I work with her 
regarding um, my impact and the work and my purpose and the work that I'm creating and how I'm leading my clients and my students. Um, so she has also a very different vibe to her than even though she's the flip side of, of Sekhmet, they have very different vibes. Same with Lakshmi, very different vibe, right? So identifying who it is that's leading, which they should make themselves pretty known, will tell you a lot about how you can work with them, how you can make the best of the experience and show up to them as a devoted student, show up to them as a priestess, as, as a devotee of the goddess or a priestess is what they call male priestesses, male priests, because priest is not the right word for like that. There's that title has been very desecrated. So not the same, not the same energy. Um, yeah, so I think that's kind of all I have to say about initiations. If you have any specific questions, please put them in the comments. I would be happy to answer um, because I've been through many of these at this point, And so I feel pretty confident in supporting you through them. Speaking of, I'm leading a mastermind called the Initiation Mastermind. This is a six month experience. We actually start July 1st and two weeks from the time I'm filming this video. And we're gonna be having, the goddess basically came to me. Um, I only create things when I am when I am led from spirit to do so because I'm a seer and an oracle and I see the energy of what's required for certain individuals. And I've create containers based on that. So I've created a six month mastermind because there's a group of individuals in the world who are ready to start stewarding goddess consciousness, operating in a cyclical nature, shedding those masks at a deep level. And this specific container is gonna be so helpful with that because it's going to create, you're gonna be held and supported as you unravel. <laughs> Initiations include unraveling. Your ego is going to melt away. Your ego is going to die, like layers of the ego. So um, yeah, this space, you're gonna be deeply held and supported by me, by the different women in this mastermind. We're gonna be doing, we'll have two, calls every two weeks for the six months. Um, and at the end of each of these calls where you'll all receive one-on-one -on -one attention, we're gonna be doing shamanic activations. I'll be leading guided Akashic Records activations at the end of each call. We'll have group um, a group chat on Voxer available 24/7. That's priceless. We're also going to have every person will get a few. We'll get three personal one-on-one -on -one sessions with me throughout the six months, and then each month we're going to be led through an energetic cycle of the feminine. So that's going to guide sort of the threads of what's moving through your initiation process. And then as everything is coming up for you, I'll be there to support you and guide you as well as a bunch of powerful, beautiful women who will be there to hold your hand as well. So you don't have to go through it alone because sometimes with initiations, what can happen is we get st stuck in points where our ego is like, nope, I'm unwilling to see this a different, a different way. And you get stuck in certain pieces of the activation or parts of your own programming are like holding on so tightly for dear life and having other reflections of people going through the same energetic experience, not the same, but it's it's the same frequency and it will be felt differently through everyone. Having that reflection is just so helpful, so helpful and allows you to shed things a lot faster. So yeah, that container I'm really, really excited about. It's the first time I'm doing this. Um, so it's called the Initiation Mastermind. I'm going to put the link in the in, the comments below if you want to check it out. Registration closes June 30th. We start July 1st. Um, and you can feel free to message me or just put questions in the comments below or actually just message me on Instagram if you have any questions about it or we can even have a quick call to make sure that it's fit for you. So anyways, that's it. That's what initiations are. If you have other questions, please put them in the comments as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and blessings on your initiation. <laughs> Bye guys.